When the Jews and the high-standing people realize that the followers are multiplying for the faith preached by Paul, they made a section of the mob to riot and stone Paul and Barnabas. I think they are dead. Let us throw them out of the city. But when the disciples gathered around them, they woke up, and then they left the city. After preaching the word of God around various nations, Paul and his companion Silas were preaching in the city of Philippi in Macedonia. A female fortune teller also was among the crowd. She used to earn a lot of money for her masters. She followed Paul. Look, these men are the servants of God. They will advise you on how you can be saved. She kept on saying this and followed them for many days. Finally, Paul got annoyed and said, in the name of Jesus Christ, I command you to come out of her. At that moment, the spirit left her. When her masters realized that she lost her power of fortune telling, they dragged Paul and Silas to the court. My Lord, these men are Jews. They are creating trouble in our city. Huh? What trouble are they creating in the city? Lord, they are advocating practices which are unlawful to us. Do you all agree with what these two men said? Yes, yes Lord. Lord! Gods, strip these two men and flog them twenty times, then put them into the prison. After stripping their clothes, Paul and Silas were severely beaten and then put into prison. You need to make sure that their feet are also chained. You know that they can perform miracles. They should not be able to escape from the cell. Yes, Master. It was about midnight time. Paul and Silas were praying to God. Lord, the Almighty, we have been performing the duties entrusted to us. Thank you, Lord, for letting us to tell about you to the Gentiles. May your kingdom be spread among all the nations. Thank you, Lord, for giving us the courage to bear all these sufferings for your namesake. Suddenly, there was an earthquake which shook the foundations of the prison. The prison doors were open and the chains came loose. The jailer woke up and rushed to the cells. Paul, Paul would have escaped. It is better for me to die. Gods, bring the lights! Do not kill yourself! We are all here! Sirs, what must, what must I do to be saved? Believe in Lord Jesus. You and your household will be saved. The jailer then took them out of the cell room and requested them to come to his home. Let me clean your wounds. We are preaching about the kingdom of God. Believe in Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved. Then all of get baptized in the name of the Lord. I baptize you in the name of the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit. You may take us back to the jail so that you don't get into trouble. The jailer offered them a meal and he took them back to the jail. Sir, the magistrate has ordered for the release of the men. The magistrate has ordered for your release. You can go now. No, sir, we were beaten in front of the public although we are Roman citizen. You threw us into the prison and you want to get rid of us quietly. Tell them to come and escort us out of the prison. Let me go and report this to the magistrate. When the magistrate heard that Paul and Silas were Romans, he got scared. 
He sent the officers to beg pardon from Paul and Silas and escorted them out of the prison. Paul then preached in Thessalonica to Berea, and then he reached Athens. Paul could see that the people of Athens were idol worshippers. One day he was debating in the synagogue. Jesus, I'm proclaiming you the Messiah. Hey, what is this man blabbering? I think he is speaking about a foreign god. People of Athens, I know that you are very religious. The Lord who made the world and the things in it is the Lord of heaven and earth. Many people of Athens were attracted to the preaching of Paul. They showed great interest to know about Jesus. Then Paul to Corinth and stayed for a year and a half teaching the word of God. Demetrius was a silversmith who was making silver shrines for the goddess Artemis. This goddess was widely worshipped in Ephesus. Psst. Do you know that our business is in great danger? Why? What happened, Demetrius? A fellow named Paul is convincing a lot of people that gods made by human hand is not god at all. Oh, that is not good for our trade. That means we all will be jobless very soon. True. In addition to that, our goddess who is worshipped widely will be robbed of her divine majesty. No, we cannot let that happen. Great is Artemis of the Ephesians! Soon the whole city started shouting for goddess Artemis, and they caught hold of two companions of Paul and took them to the town hall. Paul wanted to join them, but his friends dissuaded him. Fellow Ephesians, all of us know that the goddess Artemis is the guardian of Ephesus and her image fell from heavens. They have not robbed our temples or blasphemed our goddess. Then why did you bring these men? But Demetrius was saying, if he and his fellow craftsmen have anything against Paul, the courts are open to hear their request. If you continue to create commotion, you will be charged for routing. The clerk of the city thus managed to calm the people and save the disciples of Paul from the mob. From Ephesus, Paul went to Philippi to preach the word of God. Paul had to leave the next day and hence he was talking for a long time, and it went up to midnight. A man named Eutychus, sitting by the window, slipped off and fell from the third floor of the building. Huh? What was that sound? Let me go and see what it is. My God, what am I seeing? He has fallen to death. Hearing the screaming sound of the man, Paul and the people in the room went to the yard of the building. 